I am Nemesis Prime. Join the Transformers Society Club today. Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another video. Uh, this time I'm actually doing a video for Transformers Society Club, and this is for the Kids Corner. Uh, this was a request uh, that Josh, yeah, Josh asked us to do it, didn't he? Um, he asked us to do something with uh, one of the parrots for the kids, and I thought I would uh, do something with two parrots. Boop, boop, boop. We've got two parrots. See the dancing parrot? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, uh, I've got two parrots, and these are rescue parrots. Uh, these birds were um, fostered, yeah, and um, yeah, this here is Mango. He is a sulfur crested cockatoo. He's gonna walk around on my back here. Um, he is native to Australia, so he is an Australian parrot. And you can tell he's a cockatoo because he's got these tail feathers that will stick up on the back if he gets excited. Woo, woo, woo. No, I don't want to stick them up. Uh, they are very dusty birds. They put off a lot of dust uh, to keep themselves clean. Yeah, out in the desert. They're very goofy. They're very comical. And a lot of people like them, but they're very, very loud. They don't make good pets at all. Parrots actually make very bad pets because they're very loud. They can actually bite. And they live for 70 to 90 years, these big species. Now, Fido back here, hanging upside down. What are you doing, Bubby? He is a harlequin macaw. And he is a hybrid of a green wing and a blue and gold macaw. He's also a, also a rescue bird. Uh, and he is native to South America. Uh, so macaws actually come from South America. Cockatoos here actually come from Australia. So two different tropical parrots. That's why they're so very, very different. And there's all kinds of parrots out there. Um, but yeah, they are very interesting. They are not domesticated animals. These are not like cats or dogs. Um, they are, in fact, wild animals that have been tamed. Um, it takes many, many generations and many, many years uh, to get a wild animal to become domesticated. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Be very careful around them and listen to what people say, how to treat the birds, and how to approach the birds. Um, that's very, very important. You have to respect th these animals. Um, they are very intelligent. They understand many, many things. And it's really like having a small child of about three years old for about 90 years. So um, you've got to really, yeah, you've got to really respect the animal, understand they're going to be loud, understand they can bite, and, and really respect them, right? Yeah. Now, birds are a living Woo, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Birds are living descendants of dinosaurs. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people think uh, animals like velociraptors and uh, theropods of dinosaurs evolved into these animals. So their descendants are actually here with us, uh, which is very cool. So bringing that dinosaur theme, let's go back and take a look at a transformer that turns into a dinosaur. Let's take a look at RescueBot's Bumblebee, who turns into a Velociraptor. Is that your buddy? Bumblebee? We like Bumblebee? Woo, woo, woo. Do we like Bumblebee? Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look at Bumblebee. All right, so here we have Bumblebee as a Velociraptor, a dinosaur that would eventually become today's birds. Um, much like the birds, like Mango and Fido, my two parrots, um, they stand on two legs and they have three toes. Um, they have this long tail, just like the parrots had, to balance themselves. And if you look at his little arms, if you took all of the feathers off of a bird, that's what the wing looks like, uh, which is very cool. And they've got the long face, but instead of a sharp beak, they've actually got teeth. So they haven't gotten to the beak stage yet in evolution. Um, yeah, a lot of scientists actually think that these dinosaurs had feathers, would develop feathers, and then keep evolving on until they become birds. So every time you see a bird in your yard or a chicken on a farm or anything like that, just know that's today's dinosaurs. And if you look at birds like swans and geese and some ducks, you can really see the dinosaur in them uh, by their long necks and ostriches and emus, things like that, which is really, really cool. So looking at Bumblebee, our toy here, 
Um, he is very neat. He's got the black and the yellow, just like Bumblebee that we know as the car. Um, He's got kind of these little gears. He's got this hook for a tail. It makes them all robot-y like, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, he's got a very cute face, just like a Mango and Fido with his big blue eyes. Now to transform this guy, all you have to do is pull his tail down like this, and then you're going to push it together in the back like that, and his feet pop out, and there he is in his robot mode, um, looking really, really cool. So we've got Bumblebee's little robot head here with his big blue eyes, and then we've got our Autobot logo um, uh, right there. Here's his hands down here where his dinosaur legs were, and then his feet are actually the dinosaur head, uh, which is really cool. To transform him back, we simply lift the tail up, make sure the head is stuck together, and there he is, back into his dinosaur mode. So there he is, Bumblebee from the Hub's Transformers Rescue Bots as a dinosaur who would later evolve into birds like Mango and Fido the parrots. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like this. Transformer Society Club, thank you very much for doing a video for Kids Corner. If you guys would like to see more of Mango and Fido, please leave a comment down below. If you want to see more Transformers, definitely check them out here on Transformer Society Club. Or come visit me on my page, Ultra Maximus. Uh, that's uh, going to have a link in the uh, description down below. So if you like this video, thumbs it up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs it down. And as always, look for more videos in the future.